<clears throat> What's going on everybody? Kyle King coming at you with another Kingdom Hearts Unchained key update a video. If you guys are enjoying it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share your support. So, uh, obviously you can see that my layout is here because I'm streaming uh, right now. Uh, very late at night, but uh, there's a new update and I uh, figured I'd do this on stream since we just got the update. Um, so, let us go take a look at the notices, and I hope that this doesn't get out of sync or anything, uh, because when I was trying to record the Xemnas B event, um, the later parts of the event, starting at the, just, what is, whatever's after the guard spider, or the savage spider, started desyncing during that fight, so, while I still do have most of that footage recorded, I don't have it uploaded and edited. Um, I can still, up, I might still upload it later today, but you know that's that's not what's happening right now. So first up, as you can see, we have a new event, a new campaign. So let's take a look at the event first. The Little Mermaid High Score Challenge. That's gonna be available from the 19th today to the 25th. Uh, Swim this way for the Little Mermaid. Oh, I like that. Let's see what they did there. This week's prize includes Aaron Thunder Medal and the Sebastian Medal. Oh, Magic Mirrors, and you also earn Speed Gems. Ooh, okay. I don't actually wait. Is this the first time we've been able to not tapping up? So a lot of you have been waiting for this event for a very good reason, uh, because you might not have illustrated Kyrie, and this will be your chance to get a medal of similar power to that. It does. They do not have the cure effect, but they still will give you the plus three attack. The Aerial Founder Medal is an upright magic medal. It's also AOE. Um, raises strength by three tiers for one turn. It's basically illustrated carry like I said minus the cure uh, Upside to this is that you can slot this maybe into like your divine rose or your um, What's that other the three wishes pretty efficiently and uh, you know get some at least some super effective damage on it. and this is AOE uh, If you're able to guilt this that'll be great, but again, this is a buffer metal So you don't you know you don't really need to do that, but this is tier four So if you are lucky enough to guilt it, you know you can do that or if well I'll get into that a little bit later because I don't know how they're going to be distributing the prizes for this one, actually. Um, the other prize is a uh, Spasher Medal. Um, a lot worse than the Aerial Medal simply because it's double the cost at 6. But um, what you can do is if you place high enough in Coliseum this month, uh, there is the cost 2 skill, I believe it is. Is it a cost 2 or cost 1? And uh, it has like 100%. Um, rate for for triggering and that you know it'll just cut your cost in half not in half uh, a lot less than that oh right gilly gilly is brought up a good point again like I said, i'm streaming um gilly thinking it would be good for a proud quest i forgot about that uh because i was thinking more along the lines of uh, events like the zemnis b event we have right now where you might want to have you know one buffer with like second chance another one with like um you know db3 um so that's why I was saying that you might not uh, want to guilt them. But, like I said, I don't know how they're giving this out. They might give it like the Jafar from last time. Um, but these medals are, both these medals are very good. Obviously, Aerial Thunder is infinitely better than the Sebastian medal. Uh, but it's cost one this month for Coliseum. Okay. So you get that, slap it on your Sebastian. If you can't get the Aerial Flounder, and you're good to go. If we're lucky, maybe with the Sebastian, it'll probably be the metal that you can get just by hitting a target score as well um, on the high score challenge so you could probably get one just for you know hitting like, uh, like five million or whatever the um, that thing is. what is this why is it huh that looks kind of weird can I stop all right sorry about that I just played with the the thing a little bit and tried to make it not do that anymore. But um tip to Macron has scores, use the medals with high special attack damage multipliers, equip uh, score bonus medals. These are just the general things they tell you. Uh, the detailed high score challenge or the high score possible. Um all these stuff we know already. Uh none here we have the World of Final Fantasy medals and these are actually our only boosting medals for this event. Wow. 
two uh, 2.5 million for Sebastian, and that's easy to get. I already have him. All right, well, Gilly already has Sebastian at 2.5 million, so that's great. So it'll be really easy for everyone to get Sebastian. So for those of you free-to-play players out there, you should be able to get Sebastian relatively easily. Um, this is weird, though, because they released the Atlantica medals last week, the Atlantica version of Sword Donald and Goofy, and, um, you know, Little Mermaid event is here, but they're not boosting medals for this event. Um, nor are they, you know, with this campaign. That's really, really weird. Um, only the World of Final Fantasy medals are. Uh, which I don't mind because I'm going to be pulling here anyway. Uh, but, you know, that is a bit interesting. Next up, we have the World of Final Fantasy deal. As you can tell from the banner, and for those of you who follow um, the Twitter account for um, Unchained NA, you'll already know about um, this event. Uh, we also have, you know, we saw the banner, and you can see here, uh, two three orb six stars, and one guaranteed six star, which is most likely going to be uh, the feature medal. So you're guaranteed uh, one one powerful six star medal with this, and two orb ones, along with, you know, f your, the five other, uh, yeah, the, the seven other five stars. Okay. Uh, also, if you guys haven't. Uh, check out World of Final Fantasy. This game is really, really fun. I enjoy it very much. Uh, to the point where this and Xenoverse 2 came out on the same day. Uh, January, not January, October 25th. And, uh, my Xenoverse 2 is still actually covered. Uh, it's still wrapped up. Maybe I could do a giveaway or something on stream, but probably not. Because I should play it at least once, you know. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Uh, campaign period, again, January 19th to January 25th. Here are all the medals. Um... Straight into World of Final Fantasy, a tiny little conversion of a favorite Final Fantasy character, along with Sora and the original uh, character Tama, uh, come the Kingdom Hearts Unchained. The only cute is fooling you because they can really pack a punch, and that is true. Kind of wish I had the Tifa medal in here as well because that cutscene of Tifa and the dragon is hilarious. Um, this deal guarantees at least one of the new uh, World of Final Fantasy medals listed below, which is great because it's a guaranteed six star um, medal. Uh, but with the way they did this, I guess it makes sense for what you're going to see here in a moment. Um, no, this deal does not have a guaranteed with an extras aspect. Um, I can see why they did that as well, because of the, the way they're doing it. You're guaranteed at least one of these medals in the draws. So, I guess they feel there's no need to just be like, you know, after 10 draws, you're guaranteed a Sora. Um, since... Everything is 6 stars, so you have essentially an equal chance of getting a Sora um, before the 10 pulls. Uh, again, you get two medals that are the Europe Strengthen. These medals only appear in the World of Final Fantasy deal during this period, and we currently have no plans for these medals to get released again after this deal. So it might be your only chance to get these powerful medals. So they're encouraging us to pull again, which, you know, it's you know it's a, a business. So they're, they're out here trying to you know get the best out of it. And, uh, I don't think these medals get released again, to be honest. So, if you want to get them guilted, now is probably your chance. Unfortunately, it's probably a 3k pull, but, you know, we'll get used to that. And, uh, they're even <laughs> trying to trying to milk it a little bit more here. Uh, when you unlock the special attack bonus for the first time of these medals, you get 2 instead of the usual 1. And then when you max the special attack bonus, you'll get 10 instead of 5. So, if you can guilt these medals, you'll be sitting pretty, um, with your Nova. It'd be great. Um, now, the part that everyone's probably going to complain about, at least to some degree, um, to the effect of the medals. We all know what the medals were listed to do before, um, but let's go down right to it. Now, first off, World of Final Fantasy Sora, uh, speed upright, tier 4 bonus. In Japan, he was tier 5. I thought he might get nerfed uh, because we obviously don't have, you know, tier 5 guilt yet, so they, they're not going to give us tier 5. Uh, Sora at the moment uh, deals eight attacks that ignore targets attributes and raise the strength of all attributes by one tier uh, for one turn and lowers the defense of all attributes by one tier for one turn as well I thought it did something slightly different I, th I thought it was more turns huh I could be mis uh, misremembering but it's also four costs instead of five as well so although they did nerf it um, a little bit with the guilt tier, they also dropped it down in cost. So that's that's pretty nice. Uh, so it's not taking up about a third of your SP gauge. 
um, you know, just to use this metal. Uh, but if it was still five cost, you know, you'd most likely put cost one or cost two on it, maybe even cost zero if you had that. But that's only fifty percent chance of trigger. So, well, no, that's not what I want to do. Next up, we have World of Final Fantasy Cloud. Um, these medals did end up getting nerfed as well. They are tier three now, as you can see, which they were tier four before. And uh, you see, they're two, they're they're two cost, which they were one cost before. Um, that's th wh why does it keep happening? To be honest, I think that's really acceptable. Uh, in Japan, it's for three turns. Okay, yeah. So our our sword actually got really really nerfed. Um, but. Okay, yeah, I was like, that seems a little bit different from what I remember it doing. Gilly just informed me that uh, it's three turns for Soar in Japan. Um, so that sucks. Uh, that it got tweaked a little bit. I know people are going to be upset, but there's, there's actually just nothing we can do about it. Um, it's not like the Jack and Sally thing, where they showed us, you know, the effect beforehand, and we did the anyway, they didn't deliver. Um, the rest of these medals are still really good. Um, deal 13 and 16 powerful hits that ignore target's attributes, uh, raise the strength of all attributes for one tier for two turns. Uh, that is still pretty good. Um, it has the, uh, ignore, uh, attributes. I remember when the initial translation, it said that it's super effective against every attribute. So I don't know if that's the case here or if it really just do neutral damage to every attribute. So, um... I'm not sure. I guess I'll. I, I mean, I guess I'll have to uh, test that. In a, <sighs> in a thing as well. I think all the medals were three turns in Japan. All right. Well, let's actually see. Sorry about this, guys. I'm just. <laughs> I'm gonna have them side by side so that I can actually look at it. Okay, so let's look at lightning or cloud, whatever. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, it was one tier for three turns in Japan. Okay, so we got nerfed quite a bit. Uh, which really, really sucks. But these are still really great medals, though, to be honest. Uh, even if they got nerfed. Uh, so, what, yeah, we got. Minus one guilt tier. Minus one cost, minus one turn. These are still really good medals, even without that. Um, it's because these could be a suitable replacement for Jack and Sally's if you don't have them, like me. Uh, I don't have them, so I would like to. Although it is really upsetting that they got nerfed as hard as they did. I was, to be honest, I was thinking they wouldn't get nerfed um, at all. Not not at all, but you know, as hard as they did. Uh, but. These are still really good medals. Um, they all basically have the same effect. Uh, it's just that Cloud of Upright Power. Uh, Squall does three extremely powerful hits that ignore attributes. Um, again, he... Oh, no, 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 no. Squall's the one that's different. He does... Um, he lowers the attribute defense for all targets for two turns. Upright Power. Right? He's the one that's different? Yeah. Lightning is... Um, it's basically cloud but for speed. Okay, I'm just I'm just a flumping liar because Sephiroth is just cloud but for reverse speed. So I'm just a liar. I'm remembering incorrectly. Uh, that's why I'm you don't get enough sleep, I guess. Uh, Yuna is cloud for but for magic. And Tama is squall but magic. I mean, again, like I said, it's a bit disheartening, especially after. Um, the Zemnis event, so I, that, that, that was the main reason why I thought these weren't going to get, get nerfed, uh, much, if at all, but I was wrong, it happens, um, you can get an HD, not HD, you can get a, an enhanced Sora, with a thousand more base strength, um, as usual, uh, they do that as well, and I think that's essentially it, 
Um, so let's go and go minus. I have 18,000 jewels right here. A little bit less than I want. It's only like 200 less than I want because I messed up earlier today. But all right, let's see what I get here. I really want lightning. It'd be great if I got some rerolls as well. Oh, I didn't look to see if um, if we're guaranteed um, like tier three or higher. I don't think we are. I got a reverse metal in there. I got two reverses. Let's see what I got. Okay, I got Tama. Unfortunately, I got a Zigbar. Um, I say unfortunately because my Zigbar is a hundred percent guilted. So, oh well. Um, Thomas, cool. Oh, I can't lock it from here. Uh, like I can in Record Keeper. Uh, Cogsworth, I think I can guilt my Cogsworth now. Pretty sure I can guilt my Cogsworth at this time. And I can reroll some other things. Um, I'm actually not sure if I had guilted my, my cage to Kyrie. Or my Cinder Rabla? I'm not sure if I guilt that in here. All right, well, I think I'll do three pulls here. I would really, realistically like to go until I got lightning, but I could just not get lightning. <laughs> uh, I would also like another Zexion so I can reroll him, because that might help me. Uh, I got a Cloud. I got a Lark scene. Uh, <gasps> wait, I got two in one pull. Wait, 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 wait. We in this bitch! We out! Unfortunately, Squall's not the one I wanted to have as much, but I look, I got an orbed uh, featured metal. And that that is just that is just great. Um, lowers the target's attributes. This actually might help me more in the current Xemnas event, though. I'm I'm actually really happy about that. That is actually amazing for me. Uh, I can I can reroll this. I got lightning as well, which is hype because the lightning is actually the one I wanted. Uh, my speed metal is actually looking kind of bad. I think I think they're my weakest ones, so that's great. Um, I probably shouldn't push my luck and pull again. Uh, my Lark scene A is guilted 100%, so that really sucks. I can reroll my Goofy B though, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hype about this pull. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything else. I think my poo's at 100% as well. I'll go one more. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's just do this last pull. And see it was Gooch and the Cooch. Maybe I can get a lightning like that again. Like, I really want a Zexion. Please give me the Zexion. Oh, I saw a six star uh, reverse. And. Dark scene again. Got a cloud. That's cool. Um. You're pulling five times the orange little sword. Oh my god, Gilly, you're out of your mind. I, I could reroll my Pinocchio. Granted, my Pinocchio's at like 97% as it is. Here, I'm gonna do one more. Uh, so. Just because I like these medals. Alright, this is actually my last one. Because you know something broken's gonna come around the corner and be tight. Just don't be a. Please, no more Lark scene. A uh, second Tama. Oh, I might be able to guilt this now. All right, yes, I can. Right, I can. Guilt, I can guilt my anti form sore. Another Tama, not bad. Um, I can finally guilt my Axel. Um, they can guilt my KH2 Kyrie again as well. I can reroll you. I'm kind of hoping you're orbed, but okay, that's fine. Um, <sighs> yeah, I guess that's fine for me. Realistically, I don't need to pull anymore. 
pull it one more time. They're probably not going to pull again for a while anyway. At least I don't see myself doing that. But you know what I can see myself doing? Not buying avatar boards because I forget to get the jewels. Uh-oh. Did I see something powerful again? Whoop! Gilly got my back. I Gilly definitely has my back. Darn it. Wait. Darn it. Well, to be fair, I don't have a guilted Zack yet. <laughs> um, I think I think I still need two more Zacks after this, actually. Which really sucks. Uh, I did not have um, Illustrated Zemnis though. That's something I didn't have. Looks more damage the more enemies defeated. Huh. Wow, my speed medals actually just got infinitely better tonight. I can almost get clock. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> How many? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> We might have a problem here. Fuck it. Fuck the bullshit. Hey yo, call me Meek Mill's career. Cause we done. Ah. Why did I say that? Oh my god, that's so mean. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I have Yuna. I think I have one of each now. I didn't have this medal. No, now I need this as a five star. Um, anything I can really use? Um, pfft. nothing in particular here. Yuna's nice. Depending on the role, I'll get my King Wars 2 Kai, it'll be pretty great, but. Atlantica Sora. That's pretty cool. I didn't have that. Uh, this is useless to me. I don't know if my hag is at max, so this is potentially useless to me. This is useless to me. I have that at 100. But, oh well. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video did not get too long, although it definitely did. Um, I'll probably end up cutting it down quite a bit, so you guys don't see too much of me like sifting through my medals and stuff like that but i will see you guys next time later